Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Hi Michael, thanks so much for having us. I'm Elizabeth, I'm the singer of French on Friday. Hello, I'm Nicholas. I write the songs together with Elizabeth and I play the piano. I was born and raised in Graham Sound. My father, Norbert Nowotny, he was head of the music department at Rose from 88 until 96, I think. I had my whole school career in Grahamstown. I went to Victoria Primary and then VG, and then after my trick, I left for Europe. So I studied music education and I started off in Salzburg. And then I switched to Graz, which is in the south of Austria, and I finished my studies there. Well, that's actually where we met, didn't we? Yeah, I would rather not say how long ago that was. We've actually been playing together for more than 10 years in another group that's called Quadriga Consort. And we play a mixture between English folk music and early music and we're quite successful with that group. Um, that's like our classical project but since we love pop music so much we decided to also launch our pop project which is French on Friday. So here we have Nicolas who plays the piano. Uh, we have Angelica who plays the viol which is an early music instrument and rather unusual for pop music. Still makes a very good sound and we have Philip on another string instrument. He's uh, the bass player with uh, Bass de Violon, it's a French name for a, an early instrument. And we have Jacob who was the last to join the group and he's a very good friend of Philip. So he joined us and he's uh, a real good drummer. Change comes quietly knocking. I want to be prepared. I want to be wide awake, not snoring in my bed. When change comes quietly knocking, I want to welcome her in with refreshments and a smile. Oh, I'm not so
change comes quietly knocking, I'll make sure the neighbors see that I'm the one she's coming to. The change has come to me. Well, basically for the whole of last year we were writing our material and we only recently presented our project to the general public. Yeah, what our aim is actually to write songs that appeal to a lot of people, songs with strong melodies and rich harmonies. Thanks to the very special instruments we use, our sound is quite unique and it it fits well into the new movement towards more acoustic sounding music. Little Black Shoes is essentially about my childhood in Grahamstown, but actually more about childhood memories in general. You know how childhood memories are really special and really intense, like all the sounds and the smells that you remember like 50 years, 80 years later and in this song for me it's especially just the, the way that I went every day to school. So we lived in Hill Street and actually Hill Street is in the song and it's got the jacarandas in the street and then going around the corner and being in Beaufort Street and then going on and passing Victoria Primary and all that's in the song, not necessarily historically accurate but you know somehow jumbled up in my memory is there. I just mashed up all my memories and added a bit of imagination here and a bit of embellishment there and that's what ended up then as Little black shoes.
the lyrics and I write the music. I guess because she's a musician herself, uh, the lyrics already have, have rhythm in it and have, have even music in it. And I get the feeling I have just to, to look at the lyrics and there's immediately really a lot of um, inspiration and, and music there. And I have the feeling of just to sit down and write it down. Well, well, I know that I would be totally thrilled to play in Gravestown and I'm sure my colleagues would also Absolutely. love to visit South Africa. <laughs> so I guess we'll just have to get into talks with the festival people and see what happens.
Things we wanna say, we got.